Hi everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to my channel. Oh my god, it's been a long time. I am back, coming at full swinging force, let's go. So for all my new viewers out there, what's up? I'm like psychic and I'm like gay and I don't edit anything. Like this is just a voice uh, thing that I'm recording and um, I don't put like my voice clips together to make me like type a, or say a, sen a sentence like most trash YouTubers do. Uh, so I just want to keep it real and I want to send out a good positive message for the universe. Okay, anyways, now, I know that sounds like a corny, but you're gonna go to hell for like trying to make me look like a bad person when I'm trying to make the world a better place. Anyways, so that being said, Mortal Kombat. Uh, yeah, so I made a Mortal Kombat movie or video like a year and a half ago, maybe two years ago, about how like I hate how like. Ed Boon keeps, like, fucking putting, like, these trashy, boring, lame-ass fucking characters to replace the classic characters in the new Mortal Kombat video games. Like, it's just horrible what he's doing. Like, I will always love you, Ed Boon, if you're listening to this right now, but, like, stop fucking the game up. Like, just think of, like, the classic, like, Mortal Kombat 1, Mortal Kombat 2, where, like, there were, like, amazing, mesmerizing characters, like Reptile and all those mysterious, mysterious characters. Stop fucking adding trashy fucking characters like Jackie Briggs and Cassandra Cage that are literally just trashy, new generation, boring, basic, fucking white, caring bitches, like, that just shoot guns and kicks people like Jackie. Like, just stop it. Stop using them to replace fucking old classic characters like fucking Reptile, fucking um, Shang Tsung and all that, all those stuff. Like, you're replacing these fucking classic characters with, like, fucking boring, caring characters. Stop it, Ed Boon. You're ruining what you created. That was just a fucking mystical, amazing video game. Anyways, so the Mortal Kombat movie came out, and I was, like, fucking... When I found out about the cast, like, the original, like, five cast... I was like, what the fuck is Ed Booner, the fucking movie director, thinking? Like, you put fucking Sonya Blade, Jax Briggs, Kano as, like, the main three, four, or five characters. So, like, the, the movie posters just came out. So there's Melina, there's Kano, there's um, Shang Tsung, Liu Kang, Kung Lao, and Kano, I believe. And Jax. So I think there's, like, seven or six people there. Um, and... Throughout all those characters, I think Raiden and Liu Kang, obviously, because from original, like, Mortal Kombat series, Raiden and Liu Kang, well, actually, Liu Kang was the main character. So, yeah, Liu Kang and Raiden and Shang Tsung, because Shang Tsung was there from the very beginning as well as the number one boss evil villain. So, yeah, I get it. Shang Tsung, Liu Kang, and, uh, freaking, um, Raiden. So, those are the three main characters that should be there, yes. However, uh, fucking Sonya Blade, I know she was, like, a main character from, from the beginning, but obviously, Sonya Blade, she's just fucking boring, I'm sorry, she's like a fucking Karen, and she created a Karen, which is Cassie Cage, and that's why I hate Ed Boon, uh, a little bit, because it's, like, he put these trashy Karen, Karen characters to replace, like, the methodical female ninjas, like, Katana, Jade, especially in fucking Mortal Kombat 10, like, I'm still so fucking pissed off that Ed Boon fucking put Cassie Cage, like this fucking boring, basic Karen bitch as the main character in Mortal Kombat fucking 10 video game. Can you guys believe that? And they replaced Jade, they replaced these methodical characters like Smoke, who shoots out Smoke, like for a fucking evil white bitch who just fucking shoots gun and kicks people. Like that's so fucking weird and doing fucking crazy. But that being said, I still love you because yes, you did create the video game, which is just I mean, the best video game of all time, in my opinion. Uh, besides Life is Strange too, but um, so literally um, the fucking Kano dude and um, Sonya like they shouldn't and Jax for every single fucking video game like since the fucking Mortal Kombat one video game we get it Sonya and Kano hate each other but what we don't fucking get Ed Boon is the fact that in every single fucking game like. It seems like throughout half the entire fucking game, and each game is long, it's like fucking four hours of like story time, which is awesome, but like, I swear to god, it's like half of that, which is like two hours, it just focuses on Kano and Sonya's hate relationship, and you always see them battling with each other, and it's like, bitch, we get it, they hate each other, they battle each other, you did the same fucking shit 
for like fucking seven Mortal Kombat games. It's like enough is enough. We want something new and refreshing, not the same Kano and fucking Sonya fighting again. And this is why I fucking hate that they're in the movie because they're just gonna do it again. I, and I bet you, like fucking half of the movie is gonna be Sonya and Kano. Kano okay, fighting with each other, and it's just gonna waste everybody's fucking time because we fucking seen it already. Like enough is enough. Get Sonya and Kano the fuck out of here. We don't fucking care about them. They're not interesting. Like yeah, they're the original cast members, but even so, back then I didn't find them interesting, and I don't find them interesting interesting now. Just focus on like the fucking main classic like the mythical characters like Luke Kane and Raiden. Like, think of, like, elementalist magic. Don't think of, like, people who just fucking shoot guns or, like, fucking beams from their guns, like fucking Jackie and Sonya. Like, nobody cares about that. Like, even Johnny Cage, who I think is boring as well, even he's more exciting than fucking Sonya and um, Cassie Cage because at least he has, like, water power. Like, he can shoot, like, green water and, like, projectiles, and it looks cool. So that's what I'm talking about. I like all the methodical characters. I don't like the basic, boring, Karen characters. You guys get what I'm saying? And I feel like this fucking Kano, even though he shoots, like, fucking a red beam out of his eyes, he's still a basic character that just focuses mainly on, like, handguns. So all those characters need to get the fuck away because it's just going to be, like, another G.I. Joe movie, which is, or, or, like, a fucking military movie where nobody fucking cares about. Like, it's all, if I wanted to watch a fucking military, which I never do, uh, I would fucking watch, like, G.I. Joe or, like, fucking all those fucking war movies that are out there in the world. Like, Jesus fuck, like, nobody cares about, like, just boring stuff, Edwin, stop it. So, uh, the trailer was good, you got to see other characters as well, you got to see Goro, which is cool, you got to see Reptile, which is cool, well, I think it was Reptile, um, it was like, and the graphics are actually very, very cool, I just think the movie is really, really fucking weird and crazy, because it's gonna be, like, because I'm psychic and I know shit, so I think the movie will do well, but it's going to get bad ratings. It's just going to be, like, one of those, like, um, like the sequel. Because the, the original Mortal Kombat movie that came out in 1995, that was, like, the whoever created that, like, that director, he should have won an Oscar because that was, like, the best movie of all time. Um, because, like... It, and it's crazy because that was literally like so long ago. It's 2021 now. And that came out in 1995 where like the animation and the movie producers didn't have really that much like technology to create like animation effects. But if you look at those animation effects in 1995 Mortal Kombat, the original movie, those are like living up to the animation effects that are current now in movies in 2021. Like the animations um that I saw in the trailer was actually really good. Like I like watching the scorpion teleport thing where he had flames around him. I love seeing Raiden summon down lightning. I thought those animations were really cool. And then Reptiles and Visby, like, uh, that brought up the subject. Like, he can, um, he can, uh, like, just turn invisible. And, um, when you saw that in the fucking movie trailer, that looked really, really cool. Like, that was, like, really good graphics there. And, um, there's this one scene where it was at the end of the credits where it was very gory and sonya blade uh she fucking like did her um her weapon that i mentioned earlier where it's like a fucking firearm and she she shoots like beams out of it so she shot like a beam to this female it i i think it was a uh, melina because it looked like melina and then she shot like a hole in her stomach and then like pink or purple blood came out i mean it looked cool but it was just kind of lame and corny. Like, it didn't look realistic. So that's what I'm talking about. Like, I think that this movie is just going to be lame and corny because of the actors. If the director had hired different actors and actresses, I think the movie would have been a lot better. Like, when I saw the Sonya Blade actress, I was like, all right, this movie's going to be fucking corny as fuck. Because she and her costume just look fucking corny. I'm not going to lie. I don't know anything about her. But I'm just judging what from what I feel and what I see. And yes, I'm psychic, so I know my shit. So fucking Kano, oh my god. Not only did they cast like a fucking boring lame character, but they fucking casted like this evil fucking Karen, just basic boring like Australian dude. Like he's so fucking cringe when you look at him. It's just cringe, 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 cringe. Like get the fuck 
Like, yeah, I really hope that this fucking movie does help. Just for the fucking simple fact that the director put fucking Kano and Sonya in. And not only that, but they hired, like, these fucking, like, caring, basic, lame, horny, cringy characters, actresses, actors to be fucking Kano and Sonya. And it's like, yeah. Like, like I'm not being a hater because, like, the Melina actress, I actually love the way that she looks because she looks originally like the, I think it was Mortal Kombat 2 video game, like, in the loading screen. Because Melina had, like, a darker skin complexion and the, the Melina actress... Her name is um, Sissy Stringer or something like that. I love that name, by the way. I know nothing about her, but I think she's a very good, like, actress. Like, yeah, so that the movie director who put her in the movie, like, props to you because that was, like, yeah, she's a good a good um, actress. And, yeah, I love her. But, um, yeah, just the fucking Sonya and Kano thing. Like, when I saw them in the movie plus, I'm like, all right. Yeah, all this fucking hyped up energy for fucking nothing because it's just another like lame fucking it's gonna be a lame cringy corny movie and it's gonna be like number one on like Rotten Tomatoes. That's what I'm guessing. And it just sucks because I honestly thought it was gonna be like a methodical game like Mortal Kombat eleven. Like the Mortal Kombat eleven video game, like that's like one of the best video games of all time. Like the characters that I put that they put in there um the graphics or just the storyline was just methodical and just beautiful and amazing so the movie is just not going to live up to the game expectation it's just going to be a complete fucking failure and um it's sad because i'm a mortal kombat fan but this is what happens when you like just put lame corny actors like fucking uh johnny cage oh wait yeah so sonya and um kano so i don't feel bad saying being a Mortal Kombat and saying being a psychic and my verdict is that the movie is going to do well in the box office, but it's going to do very, very bad in the critiques like Ryan Tomatoes and stuff. Like it's, if you guys don't know what Ryan Tomatoes is, it's a website that like just puts all the really lame, corny, cringy movies in their site and they just make fun of it. So it's going to be like number one in Ryan Tomatoes and it's not number one, but like, it's going to be up there. Like it's going to be a very lame, corny movie. And this is what you get you fucking directors of this movie, like, and Ed Boon, like, stop it, like, you fuck it, just ruin the game by doing this, and also, like, the new character, who I thought was Johnny Cage, because he looks and resembles Johnny Cage, he could be Johnny Cage, but that actor, dude, I'm sorry, that dude, he's fucked up in the head, why the fuck would you put, like, a crazy actor like that in the fucking movie, and then put him, like, a mysterious role, like, that, yeah, so basically, his name is, um, it's not Johnny Cage, but it starts with the C. I'm thinking Kano, but it's not Kano, because Kano starts with the K, and that's a different character. It's C. I don't know. It's a new character, and he's just, like, this boxing guy, and he honestly, like, is not interesting whatsoever. Like, he, the, and I watched an interview with him. Um, I think his name is Lee or something like that. And the dude's voice and just his personality, I'm, I knew nothing about him before, but yeah, he's one of those, like, caring, like, douchey, just, like, boring, uh, muscular jock dude that nobody fucking cares about, like, and tries to, like, portray himself as a superhero, but he's not, he's just lame, boring, fucking basic cringy guy like if you hear his voice you can just you, you guys will know what i'm talking about so yeah i don't really care for fucking cringy actors like if you were to hire like really 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 like talented non-trashy cringy actors and actresses then this movie probably wouldn't have been on rotten tomatoes like it's going to so i mean that's my thoughts on it so far i mean i thought that the original cast members, like, we were, we were just going to see the original cast members, and that's it. But, like, you got to see a clip of Reptile in the game. You got to see a clip of Smoke, which was awesome. I thought it was Sub-Zero, but people are saying it's Smoke, so I'm going to assume it's Smoke. And then um, you got to see a clip of Goro. And you got to see Katana's fan, which I'm so excited about, because I love Katana. I prefer Katana over Melina. I think Melina's fighting style is better than Katana, but obviously Katana is a better person because Melina is just an evil clone created by Katana, and Katana is the original actual human being, and she has a good heart, so uh, I love her and Jade's relationship. If they don't fucking put Jade, (laughs) 
in this fucking movie, like, they didn't put her in Mortal Kombat 10, I am done. Because Jade is one of those very, very special characters that created, that made this game so fucking, like, amazing and popular. Because Jade is just, she's just that bitch. She has that power. Same with Rain. And if they don't put Rain in this fucking game, or movie, like, they didn't put in, like, in the storyline of Mortal Kombat 11. And, like, basically at all in Mortal Kombat 10, because you're gonna get to fucking play him as a sideable character at all. Or, and they didn't even put him in the fucking Mortal Kombat 9 game, like, in a storyline. They put him as a DLC character. But he's one of those characters that, like, is very, very special as well. Him and Jade are the characters that created this game, in my opinion, um, to be, like, awesome. And Luke Cain, obviously, and Scorpion and Sub-Zero. But, um, you know what I'm talking about? Like, those methodical characters. Like, this is why Mortal Kombat is just such a beautiful game, is because Ed Boon created, like, these methodical characters that have, like, superpowers, and it's kind of like X-Men, and that's so fucking cool to me, so, like, stop putting basic fucking characters, like, Sonya Blade, and Kano, and fucking Cassie Cage, and, like, nobody cares about them, and Jackie Briggs, for fuck's sakes, like, stop it, everyone, just fucking stop, ruin the fucking game, anyways, um, I think that's all I'm gonna say, uh, the last thing I'm gonna say is that I the my favorite character of all time is Rain from Mortal Kombat. Uh well in the Mortal Kombat games. So I actually in real life, like if you guys were to see me in real life, you guys would get the whole like Rain methodical uh vibe for me. And growing up, my friends, my best friends, so we would play Yu-Gi-Oh, which is like this card game, and there was this really popular uh, character in the game called uh, Dark Magician. And Dark Magician was like this methodical, like, magician guy who was like so sassy and kind of twinkish. And that's me. And my friends were all saying that, like, oh, he reminds me of you, he reminds me of you so much. And I was like, I don't get it, I don't see it. But now I fucking see it because I was a dumb kid back in the day. But now that I'm grown up, I know my shit, I'm psychic. And I know a lot of people are gonna like make fun of me for saying I'm psychic, but if you watch my videos, you'll see that all the predictions that I made ended up coming true, and I will do a follow-up videos about uh, more topics about uh, stuff that I already predicted, so, like, stay tuned for that. Like, I don't just talk about, like, video games and, like, celebrities and stuff. Like, this is an open book. This is just a YouTube channel where, like, I just talk about stuff that interests me. So, for my future viewers out there, just know, like, if you see, like, random stuff that I post, it's just, like, I'm not just interested in one thing. I like, I'm, I'm all over the place. I'm like, God, like, you can't get rid of me. Like, I just think about everything. So yeah, Ed Boon, if you're listening to this, uh, and you trust the psychic gay twinks intuition, then please contact me and put me in the next movie as a character as Rain. And I swear to God, if you don't put Rain in this fucking movie, I'll be really pissed off and God will come after you because I, uh, well, I'm like, God, but, like, you know what I mean? Like, higher power will come after you, <laughs> Ed Boon, if you don't fucking do this. Okay. Anyways, uh, that being said, uh, stay positive, and I'm, I can't wait for it. It's coming out in two months. Can you believe that? Because it's February now, and it's going to come out in, like, April, which is only, like, two months away. So I'm excited, but, like, I know that it's going to be, like, a Rotten Tomatoes, like, uh, type of movie where it's just going to be cringe. Like, good good, like, animations when it comes to, like, uh, using, like, superpowers and stuff like that, which is cool, but the l fucking actors and the actresses, like, they're gonna ruin everything. Like, you, the director, Ed Boon, you guys should have fucking, like, casted better actors, like Melina. Like, people that remind you of Melina, do that. Don't fucking just put, like, lame, corny fucking characters that just are just white because you're white. Like, I don't fucking get it. I, I, anyways. Ooh. I gotta get out of here. Like, I'm just pissed off more than anything because I know it's gonna be like a cringe movie. Whatever.